number one Iron Age booty daddy. Have you ever noticed that Hollywood always seems to be quite late to the party? Some might call it fashionably late for those who are overindulgent in their own freaking BS. However, this is kind of funny. Woody Harrelson apparently had a monologue on Saturday Night Live, which I totally missed because I don't watch Saturday Night Live, but... Nevertheless, it was reported on. Woody Harrelson apparently, according to the Rolling Stone, has decided to spread, and I quote, anti-vax conspiracies during the SNL monologue. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you guys will subscribe to the channel right now and hit the like button for this video and let everybody know that what I'm doing here is something that you enjoy. Let's get into this over here on Rolling Stone, Woody Harrelson spreads anti-vax conspiracies during the SNL model. This is the second time that Rolling Stone has made it into my videos this week. My God, something is wrong with me. The internet is 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 absolutely changing me. Uh, Woody Harrelson has always had, uh, has always harbored some well strange views. Yes, it's a very strange view. Uh, that goes through here. He's Oscar. Now. Okay, and so during his uh, rambling, why? Because I'm not going to read this. That's not important to the point. I don't care. And so during his rambling SNL monologue, etc., uh, and apparently under the influence, Harold's hey, under the influence. Interesting. Oh boy. Apparently he's under the influence. Uh, I didn't see the show. Maybe he is. Uh, shouting out uh, his pot shop in West Hollywood. Uh, and claimed his manager, Jeremy, transported weed from L.A. to the shop to New York. Harrelson went on a spiel about the pandemic. Let's listen here. Let's let's see what we have here. Woody Harrelson! Oh, this is the whole thing. I don't want the whole thing. I just wanted part of it. But anyway, the self-proclaimed anarchist joked about a supposed movie script, a clear metaphor for the pandemic that went the biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cars, cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. He then remarked, I threw the script away. I mean, who's going to believe that crazy idea? Being forced to do drugs? <laughs> I do them voluntarily all day long. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. The tide is turning. When things like this are allowed to be put on the internet, and they are allowed, you are starting to see the pushback that happened years ago, and you are starting to realize the political narrative is crumbling. Now, whether, now, I'm not gonna come out and be like, Woody Harrelson, he's a hero of the right. No, he's not. You don't have to be a hero of the right or have right-wing philosophies or anything. I mean, if he really is an anarchist, good for him. But all you have to do is look at the situation that overtook us several years ago in the season of the lockdown as i like to call it because i refuse to call it a pandemic because it wasn't the only pandemic we suffer on this planet is government but what i find absolutely fantastic about this is that on saturday night live and this is all well known before it airs saturday night live allowed this monologue to go on and be aired to millions upon millions of people. How interesting is that? And years ago, everybody's like, no, you can't, you're, you're, you're gonna murder grandma, you're gonna murder grandma. It's all about the think of grandma and the children. And it's like, well, no, I'm actually not. But how funny it was where people such as myself, I wasn't, a drink with crazy wasn't a big thing at the time, it's still not. But I wasn't saying it on the internet, maybe with some friends of mine, private conversations. We're all saying, man, this is insane. You have to take something, you have to take a medical procedure, and that's what this is, right? We call it, you know, call it the, the jab, but it is a medical, you have to take a medical procedure in order to participate in polite society. And all of a sudden, it went too far.
Now, I personally believe that all of this is going to be geared in such a way to blame Trump when he comes out, uh, when he really starts pushing forward, right? You've already started to see all the political talking points change. The Democrats are changing on this. There's Now, all of a sudden, all these places are calling out the bad jabs that are coming out and how there are medical issues with all that stuff. And the interesting part about all this is I think that Donald J. Trump, the guy who pushed the vaccine, if I can even say that word, is going to get annihilated for it. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to witness the beginning of the clown show. Something all of us knew for years. This is wrong. You shouldn't be doing this to people. The best way to stay healthy is to go out, get some sunshine, get some exercise, try to eat healthy and live your life. We all knew this. We were told we were wrong. We were told we didn't know what we were talking about. And we were, and they tried to silence people like myself. They tried to silence many people. But ladies and gentlemen, now the mainstream media is allowing their celebrities to speak out on this on national television. Think about that for a second. And think about how that is going to impact the next coming political season. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I do hope that you guys enjoy what I am doing here. You enjoy my style. And hopefully you guys stick around to see more. But never forget, if you guys decide to comment down below, I dedicate a special live stream every Sunday. It's called Sunday Coffee, where I read all of your comments on my videos and I give you guys my real reactions. You may disagree with me, you may not. But nevertheless, if you dedicate time to me, I will dedicate time right back to you. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Never forget, if you would like to be a part of my supporter live streams, head over to my Gilded or my Locals. Links down in the description. And you guys can join me for those live streams every single Wednesday. But right now, I would love to say thank you to everybody who is supporting me. Over on Locals, we've got Little Andean, Sword Rush, Frequency Studios, Katie Francis, Kikomon, Iron Age Media. We also have... Over on the Gilded, JP, the Myriosphere Origin, Skunk's Workshop, and the Gold Tier. He is an Iron Age booty daddy. Trippy Soul, also another Iron Age booty daddy. Kiko Mon and Frequency Studios to round all of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on the channel. And I will see you all in the supporter live streams.